So in, let's see, what game is this? 26 plus six is 32. This is game 33. So in game 33, we got the Chicago Bulls versus the Boston Celtics. Uh, for the Chicago Bulls at point guard, we got Maurice Cheeks, shooting guard Sidney Moncrief, small forward Jamal Mashburn, power forward Giannis Antetokounmpo, and that center Bob Lanier. And then for your Boston Celtics, of course, we've got Michael Jordan at point guard, Kobe Bryant at shooting guard, Paul George at small forward, Tim Duncan at power forward, and Chris Stops posing is at center. Time to start the weekend in Let's style. Let's go. What do we got? We welcome you to Friday oh, the Bulls are 18 and 11. How many games do we have left? I think we've already got three games left in the season. Smith, our analyst tonight with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I'm Brian Anderson. And now the opening line looks like Chicago. he was tripping or something. Celtics, we've Eyes were Christoph rolling in the back Zingas. of his head. Kobe Bryant is out there with Paul George. And it's Jordan in at the point. Hey, it's I got to take advantage of that Maurice Cheeks matchup. Grant, your team start changing hey, up I mean, rotations. I need MJ to go off. You know, BA, I'm not a big fan of that. Of course, seating is so important in the postseason, but I don't think it's time to start experimenting. It's still about winning games and getting into the best position. Yeah. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Kicks it out to Brian. Wide open look. Yes, Woo! on the jumper. Oh, Oh, that was a two? Really starting to flow. Come on. Be in for a good one. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? Here's Moncrief. Pass to Ana Kumpo. Shot clock at five. No, you're not Bulls shooting that. Get, get out of here. Shot. Here's Cheeks. God damn. And it's Lanier missing. Well, I think gets out. But he's got so many offensive rebounds. Up 10 in his last game. All right, come on. What do we got for a player? All right, I'll run. I'll run and play myself. Pulls up. No good. Ooh, a was that early? What? I held that forever. Pass to cheeks. Here's Moncrief. With the drive. To the wing. Ooh. Oh, I thought Pozingas had that steal. Here's Wait, I did have that steal. Here's Mashburn. You're not. And Porzingis with the block. Big block, baby. Big block. Be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. All right, give me the ball. Let me inbound my. Let me inbound that. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Brian, the pass to Jordan. Nice. 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 Wait, hey, dunks are always for the big boy. <laughs> Emphatic move by the point guard. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Oh, Ooh. they get a hand on it. Oh, George, George with the steal. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Pass to Jordan. Six on the shot Dude. clock. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Maurice can't stay with Michael. He cannot stay with Michael. Well, that was clearly a foul. At the line, Michael Jordan. At the line for two shots. The first one falls. Oh, guys, the city of Chicago is used to the highest standard. The shadow of those Michael Jordan teams still looms large. And both free throws good for Jordan. It feels like once you get a taste of winning, you never want that to end, Grant. But the reality is, for most oh, gotta watch, uh, it I does watch Giannis off those picks. For long periods of time. I hope the fans do appreciate this current Bulls team. There's something to be proud of. Oh, Lanier, strong. Holy shit. Right the he just bullied no Porzingis just now. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's Jordan. You know, his stats have been solid. Averaging around 18 and a half points a game. 
The deep three from Porzingis. Mashburn grabs the that was a, that was pretty deep. I should have taken a step up. To sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. Should have taken a step up, but two. Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Here's Lanier. He had 25 points in his last game. Celtics foul. Sixth foul. Porzingis. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Bulls, Bob Lanier taking two shots. Take it up, take it up. And the first one at the line is good. We've oh, we got, got wholesale changes. Boston. Man, they got a seat in the hill line. What the hell? How old was that dude? both free throws because he knows he makes a living at the line he invites contact Two and sometimes minutes. even initiates it Two minutes. pass to Ben Carroll Isaac with it for three it doesn't go for him damn all right we long side shot not falling right now to play in the first here's free here's Moncrief no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. To the left wing. Unloads from 13. They get the rebound. Get out! It's tipped! Outside, Hill. Pass to Isaac. Here's McGrady. In his last outing, 10 points for him. Here's Van Carroll. 4-3. Knocks it down from distance. That was huge. I missed a few in a row. That was huge. I missed a few in a row. I needed that one. One of six so far. Oh, that's Chris Kamen. I was trying to figure out who the hell that big bald guy was. Six seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Moncrief. He hits the back iron Damn, okay. and sinks it. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Outside, Hill. Ah, I had, I had Cambio by himself. Isaac outside. Back to Hill. Lanier ah. with the rebound. Well, what play did I pick? I, picked a, I think I picked a Most give and go. Bucket is automatic. Six seconds separating the shot. We got a mismatch down low. Pass to Griffin. Switch it up. Switch it up. Here's Lanier. Check by Hill. No, Cayman ain't shooting that. Here's Free. To the middle. Here's Lanier. That shot is off. That'll count. And way off. As well. Close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Celtics out in front, up three. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. All right, fans, give it up for good action. I gotta keep the pace up. I gotta keep my to a game that's been my pace up so far here. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Celtics. Well, it's tough to score when you're getting stuffed on every attempt. Great job getting the nine points is ain't going to cut it. Making gotta get this pace up on shooters. And they run the floor. Tremendous job just creating havoc defensively. Active hands have led to tons of turnovers that they've capitalized on. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. Here's Mashburn. Rebounded by the Celtics. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Pass to Bryant. Let's it go from deep. No good that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. And this is their first time matched up with the Celtics this year. Ah, so I was reaching on my part. Shouldn't be reaching in like that. Will be a, a part of it is coach. But it's also about having the talent to win more than one way. Also, it's about ad living and being able to change on the fly. Here's Cheeks. Nine points for him in his last game. 
Pass to free. Here's Mashburn. From deep three-point range. And they force Here we go. Violation. Back clock violation. Celtic ball. Jordan with it. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. The ball's not ah. loose. Pass to Bryant. Shoots. And Damn it, what's happening? Chicago trailing here. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Thanks a lot. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo has won MVPs, Defensive Player of the Year, and a championship. But he says, quote, Oh, and I satisfied. followed him. Get out. All right, all offense. I gotta get this offense going. I care about getting better, and that's what I've done my entire career. Brian, he stays focused. Nose to the grindstone alley. Thanks for that. Off of the combo. Two shots. That free throw, no good. An MVP caliber talent, the rise of Giannis from scrawny teenager to bulked up superstar has been great to watch. Chris stops Porzingis. He's checked in for Bradley. He hits the second from the line. All right, let's go. Come on, offense. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. George goes in to the paint. George finds Jordan. Just five on the clock. Out to the right wing. Porzingis passes to Jordan. Oh, yes. The turnaround. Jordan's got the second bucket on the night. The unique perspective of a big. Porzingis has great awareness and the ability to easily find the open man. And Chicago has possession. Thing is, I can think I can score with Jordan every single time on the court, so it's kind of leading me to some bad, bad habits. I thought it was the deciding factor overall. There were some unforced errors, but they also created some mistakes through their intensity on both. Yeah, right there, every time. Nice. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? What a dunk, PA. It's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sends shockwaves into the opposition sail. Here's four. And again, no good by Chicago. That was the best he could do. Just fade a little bit, try and get a clean look. But the defense was right on him. On the wing, Brian. Shoots. Dude, why is Kobe's jump shot so Everything fast all of a sudden? Except for the outcome. I knew it was you quick, but not that quick. Every time. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Ah, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact second, while he was going up. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for sure. I think Kobe's like one for five or something. Shoot. The line for two. Good on both. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their two offense rolling. The Celtics have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. 151 left in the first half. Here's McGrady. Boy, he's been patient so far. Isn't that? Nothing yet on the scoreboard. I don't mind it. I mean, they met him at the rim and first temporarily suspended the points. First team foul. At the line for the Celtics, Tracy McGrady. Now in the ah. first, the Bulls making a switch here. Good on the second one. The Bulls have gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Pass to Griffin. Here's Kamen. Now on to Kumpo. To the wing on the left. Get that out! Of it. Out of bounds. Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. Handy. 
Coming from the paint. Called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Looking now for some consistency. Just too many missed shots. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. One twenty-four left in the second. Pass to Lanier. Just two to shoot. Moncrief. And again, Chicago, no good. The Celtics with the lead. Isaac, right side. Three-pointer. Can't hit it. What the hell's happening? Now. It's so hard to keep the defense honest. When God, that was an easy one. Wide open looks like that. There's 57 seconds left in the first half of basketball. From the high post, jump shot is good that time. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Left side hill. Pass to McGrady. Gets a second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Nice dime to the open man. George Hill, more of a combo guard, making things happen right there. Wasn't pretty, but I'll take it. Chicago has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Lanier. Here's Griffith. And Camby pulls it down. Pass to Isaac. Over on the Kumpo. What? Stolen by Ana de Kumpo. With the pass that. They push it up four on three. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the Celtics. I'm in, I'm in the pass that. We've got more in store for you right after this. Eleven. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jets. I gotta get another drink. I'm, all, I'm empty. I'm empty. NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. What is my field goal percentage? Well, if I was gonna guess, I was gonna say my field goal percentage is like 45. Later, they were up by six. Taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, give us your tip. Well, as well as they perform offensively, I'm surprised that they haven't opened up a significant lead. I mean, after the shot, well, they make a good decision, but they haven't opened up the game. That could be different. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about 40%? Chicago? Dude, With they shot 17%? What the hell? There's still a whole half of them. I'm going to stop wasting shots if you're serious about finding quality looks. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. I gotta be around 50%. None of this 40% bullshit. Here we go, fans. Time to make some money. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one. It's both teams trying to gain an edge. All right, come on, offense. I mean, my defense keeps me in these games every single time, but. Trailing by five. Pass to Moncrief. Here's Cheeks. On to Kumpo, outside. Puts it up from the high post. That one is off. And Boston going the other way now. And for the Bulls. Jordan, the pass to Bryant. There you go, Kobe. Need some easy ones. I mean, Maybe it's not in some jump shots. Floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Pass to Mashburn. Here's Moncrief. Over Jordan. Hits the front of the rim and out. Boston shooting around 44%. Not bad. There you go. And, and one, baby. Fought through contact. Hit the shots and will go to the line. Sydney Moncrief. Second personal foul. First team. The Celtics making a switch here. Porzingis has checked in. Michael Jordan at the line, shooting one.
second half getting started about a minute play things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively yeah they really need to find a way to get back on track pass to Lanier here's Mashburn towards defending get that rebound Mashburn shot is off Ooh, they've come out ice cold to start this half three misses and as many attempts Here's Jordan, and from 16 feet away, he cans it. Jordan's got 13 now. Three straight to begin this half. Yep, three straight. Three, start, three straight to start the half. That's good. That's huge. That's good. That's great for the percentages. And try to put a stop to this run. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Nice to Mashburn. To halt the oh. run. And he nails Damn, the jumper. Jamal Mashburn coming off those picks, hitting those jumpers. Half. One for four now. Let's see if that gets them going. Ah, I missed Porzingis down low. Now here's Jordan. He's got 13. Here's Duncan. Outside Porzingis. Another one falls for Boston. They could have asked for a better start to this half. Can't leave Porzingis. Four straight and counting. Too good of a shooter. You can't leave him. Here's Cheeks. A 12-point game. Actually, that mid-range. Ah, come on. Cheeks Ooh. can't hit. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Oh my goodness, yeah, Maurice good. Cheeks is terrible. Jordan's got seven points for the quarter. I put these moves on right people now, all the time against the, like the CPU. Like a well and uh, this, they just the stay there with Jordan like most of the time. But it's working every single time. One. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Kept alive. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. The three, George. Oh my God! Everything's falling now. Okay. Everything's falling. George has got himself on the board with a three there. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustment. What it was, they are getting better. Shots, what it was, what it could be. To a rhythm, and they're knocking down everything. Yeah, we're knocking down everything right now. Here's oh, Jamal Maxwell, the only person that's hitting anything. The Bulls with another miss. The will is there, but the execution is lagging. And he can't seem to finish this I finally yeah, missed one. That old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Pass to out of the Kumpo. Hey, we've heard a lot of what we got? Say, oh. including I was going to come over. I thought Andre Kumpo was going to the hole. I was coming over to help. The stars play more often. I was coming over to help. Grant, your thoughts. You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm oh, just oh, a oh. I got that rebound. Give me that. Long grief, no good. And here's Boston. They're on a 14-2 run here. Pass to Porzingis. Porzingis. <laughs> Even after that serious knee injury, Porzingis with the spring to flush it. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Damn. Here's free. Not only is the defense on fire, the offense is stepping it up too. Here's Griffith. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Oh! Give me that Three rebound. There we go. The He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Damn, Kobe! The truth is, this lead that was early. Is much bigger. I can't get Kobe. I can't get anything with Kobe right now. Pass to Moncrief. Here's Cayman, defended by Porzingis. To the right side. Here's Mashburn. Four on the clock. Here's Griffith. And again, no good by Chicago. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that 
get in his head and his rhythm it's been way oh off. my god the goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net and that helps and it's uh, sometimes i just don't get why, how i miss some of these shots Here's I mean, whatever. I was on fire, so. Giving them some good production, putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. Oh, I jumped up. Here's Give me that. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Celtics out in front, up 19. Stop, Don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And while we have and a chance, have a long let's go to our quarter farm, break. Assist to the game. Have a long intermission. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the Rich precision assist. What, what is this assist? Speed. Couldn't place it any better. Uh, I had better assists. I had better passes. plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. All right, let's go. Let's close well, this out. Let's close this out. We got a huge lead. Let's close this out. Quarter, but stranger things have happened. Van Carroll out there with Kristaps Porzingis. Then there's Paul George. Then there's George Hill. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Pass to Van Carroll. Ah, what? By Otto de Kupo. Otto de Kupo. Give me that back. Here's Cheeks. Out left to the wing. Here's Moncrief. Guy running all over the court. Just four to shoot. Man, they are they are terrible on offense. Give me that. Oh, I jumped way too early. What the hell was that? That dude was like Harlem Globetrotters bullshit. What are you doing? All right, any day. Pass the ball in. There we go. Get good. There, there we go. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. George outside. The three is up. Lanier with the rebound. George is gone. One for three on the night. Here's Moncrief. Offensive board. On to Kumpo. And he can't get Man, that they one. can't hit anything. And for Boston, they're shooting the ball at 48% so far. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Here's Van Carroll. Man, a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First, first of all, all right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for Boston. They've only scored 13 points. That's, I don't think I've ever given up that, that few points. They've really brought the energy with all these blocks we've seen. I think I got to put the, uh, the meter on the free throws. During the offensive performance was the fast break. Converting on those chances when they get them tonight. Smith, he's checked in for Hill. Boy, viewership numbers are on the rise. NBA business is booming. I guess it's a good time to own a piece, eh, Grant? Hey, BA, you said it best. The league is too in small, too small, too small. We have great leadership, talent. It's an exciting time, and I think the league has more growth globally. Ah, shit. I was like, I was like trying to dribble right in his face. That didn't work. And he lobs it up. Ooh. And to nice. Kupo with the snuff. That was pretty nice. To the rim. And let Have I scored in this quarter yet? Never a bad idea. George outside. Inside. Ah, the pass. uh, those passes. I gotta remember, like, I can't be making those Over to those the left pres wing. precision passes with like power forwards and centers and shit. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Down low. It's oh my god, what the hell is happening, man? What the fuck? And there it is. <laughs> what is happening? That's his first real mistake. I have like three turnovers. I haven't hit a shot yet in this quarter. Come on. Come on. Jordan comes in for Smith. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. What is this offense right here? Pass to George. 
and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. What the hell is happening? Plays the judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call. I should have went the other way anyway. Way, I gotta force I that. I agree with you on that one. I forced that that pick right there. Over two and a half minutes. All right, come on. Here in the fourth. Pass to Mashburn. Here's Moncrief. Rejected by Jordan. Inside. And in there. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Excellent pass, PG-13. Keeping his eyes up, using his vision. Well, Smitty, instant replay is here to stay. A big part of the game. How has it impacted the NBA? Well, I think fans and players love that you get it right during crunch time. The one thing I think that can help is to speed up replay. That's what everybody is complaining about. Pass to Mashburn. Two minutes. Here's Cheeks. One fifty-one left in the fourth quarter here. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. Man, their offense is terrible. It is so and even slow. From where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. At the line for the Bulls, Maurice oh, that guy's, that guy's having issues. Taking two shots. Man, hand was shaking. First one falls for him. So Chicago going with an almost Chicago. entirely new group here. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth. Smith outside. Isaac outside. No good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission. Did he just miss a dunk? What the hell? I like Celtics. Oh my control my well, controller down and shit. There was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, BA. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. That'll do it for this one. They've earned their 27th victory of the year tonight. I've got four points in this quarter, though. That's a problem. To the left side wing. Pass to Ivy. Right side Come on. Holding. No one near him. Oh and my God! What the, the hell is? What is wrong with this team? Dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Smith outside. To the inside, Bradley. Bradley is eight, eight, eight feet tall. Why would you dunk the ball? Nice setup. Impressive job by this team, and you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home. I would love to get the 40 points. That'd be nice. Here's Cheeks. And Camby pulls it down. Kuzma against Smith. And the dunk to finish it. We got the 40. Beauty. Respectable. That's an inspired ball club. They fought hard, and during the most important moments, they made big God, plays. they only got 17 points. Especially boys. during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you next time.